I just wanted a bowl of soup. But he says, no soup for you. He's a regular Puritan. That's what he is. He's a soup Puritan. He won't serve me soup. That's his loss. I'll go to America. They've got soup galore. Wait. They've got soup in America, but no girls. Okay, Puritan girls, but they're real Puritans. No sex for you. What do I do, Jerry? Do I pick sex? Soup? You got a quandary here, Jerry. A quandary? Recently, I visited the Netherlands to see a friend of mine who's a Puritan. She loves the Dutch because they don't persecute her for her unconventional, ultra-Orthodox religious beliefs. I love Holland because of the little balls of fried dough. The Dutch call them oily cake or oily cakes, but I prefer to call them donuts. My friend says donuts are filling and easy to make, and their round shape lets her be what every Puritan prays to be holier than thou. No, 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 pop up there, Jane Bear. Look what I brought you for Thanksgiving there. Yeah? Well, you could use it to serve the poor. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, Daddy, it's beautiful. Yeah, it looks kind of uh, native. No, it don't. <laughs> Where'd you pick it up, Arch? Oh, I found it. Oh, yeah, right there where God left it for me there. Of course, I had to dig around for it, do some of that ex-vacation in there, you know. But hey, what it is, you need it. I had to pull some dead Indian guy off it. Yeah. Dead Indian? Arch! You realize you stole that out of someone's grave? No, that ain't no grave. Yes, it was! No, it ain't! <laughs> Yeah, how do you explain the body, Daddy? Well, there's a perfectly good explanation for that. God hides stuff in the ground here for us, and he uses Indians to mark the spot. Oh, well, you think he just used an X? He did. He used an X Indian. Now, Mary is, is finding it hard to cope with her neighbors who are not devout Puritan separatists. I try to be judgmental, Reverend Phil, you know, to persecute anyone that doesn't follow the strict Puritan way and all, but... I just can't. All right, now, now tell us about these neighbors of yours. Because they drink. One time they even played football on the Sabbath. I wanted to report them to the town elders for heresy, but I'll let them play on. Yeah, okay. And how did that make you feel, Mary? Awful. I was just trying to be a good neighbor. So, so let me get this straight. Neighbors from hell. <laughs> Football on Sunday. My question to you is, how is that working for you? I guess it's not.